Okay, now it's February. Bit of an update on this. Um, been procrastinating and not doing anything about it, but anyway, I've just managed to hook up this uh, boost pipe from the charger down to the intercooler. Hoses aren't quite lined up, but it's looking like it will actually work. I uh, had to take the cover off the back of the um, alternator, so I'm going to have to grind that down because they have it's the cover there and it has a big vent on it for cooling. So I'll cut all this section off, I suppose. I don't think it, it just there's no way I can see that it's going to fit in there with that pipe and that pipe and you know right in the same real estate. So anyway, so it's sort of roughly lined up down there. Um, would probably help if I bent that um, power steering pipe a little bit more so it just allows this um, metal pipe to come down a bit further. Can't come down too much though because then it might touch the uh, power steering pulley. So anyway, so that's where that is. So and then I got now I got to try and get this from this pipe back up to the uh, throttle body. Um, there's not a lot of real estate there as you can see, it's all pretty tight. Um, oh, the other thing I had to do was grind off the, you know, break off the little wee um, bolt that comes out of here which the, the part of the airbox mounting system sits on. Um, it's just under here, I'll have to cut it down a bit shorter. Anyway, small update. Okay, so that's the back of the alternator, I've just cut the vent pipe off, put these there. And also got the Dremel in there and just ground down this little, uh, just one of those things there. It just gives it a little bit more room. Um, yeah, it's all pretty tight in there, right? And I still got to get the, uh, the heater valve sits in here too. And then there's the other pipes and yeah, anyway, we'll carry on. Okay, got that sort of in. I haven't done any of the hose clamps up, but it's sort of basically in there. I mean, there's no way that pipe can fit with the um, vent cooling for the alternator there. So they seem to have missed that in the instructions, but anyway. And also that, <coughs> that little post will definitely have to be ground off. You can see it's sitting sort of right under the hose there. And a couple of things have left out. <coughs> Basically, yep, pipe's in there. Pretty tight. Still gotta get the um, other pipe down now, so I'm gonna press onto that. Okay, right. Got the pipes in, as you can see, no room. Um, yeah, I've just loosely got the blower valve sitting there. Still gotta put the deeser in. Hook up the airflow meter, etc. Um, but yeah, it's just pretty tight, and there's all the oil system in there. Um, yeah, so as you can see, there is very little room. In fact, it's sort of touching the rubber boot of the steering rack, so I don't know, I might have to make some adjustments somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's in there. Um, had to modify this bracket. Here that goes to uh, you can see that. A bracket that bolts up to the sump there that holds this charge pipe. I have to bring it up, put it up a little bit higher, a bit shorter, um, just to get this angle through here. Uh, pretty tight. Maybe because I've got a fatter sway bar or something. I don't know. I've got the M3 sway bar in the front. Anyway. That's it.